It is time for the latest and the most comprehensive breakdown of the biggest news stories in Western Visayas. This is Panay News Tonight. Here are the top stories of the day. The request resolution to place the province of Antique into a higher quarantine status was approved yesterday, April 15, by the Sangguniang Panlalawigan. The resolution will be passed to the National and Antique Interagency Task Forces for consideration. According to the SP, they are requesting the province be shifted to the modified enhanced community quarantine status to limit people's mobility and reduce the spread of the COVID-19 virus. However, Antique Governor Rodora Kajau argued that IATF will most likely deny the request. She explains that border restrictions cannot apply to areas within the same quarantine status. Department of Interior and Local Government Undersecretary Epimako Densing III also said that border restrictions can only be implemented in areas under MBCQ. Fire raised a house in San Vicente subdivision in Barangay Poblacion, Leganes, Iloilo this morning, killing a mother and her son. The victims, Ana Vivienne Ganon, 48 years old, and Anthony Ganon, 21, were trapped inside their house when the fire broke out. The two were eventually found by rescuers, the bodies unrecognizable. Vivienne's other child, 16-year-old Andrew Vince Ganon, was able to escape but was rushed to the hospital after jumping off the second floor. The Bureau of Fire Protection is currently investigating the possible causes of the fire. Typhoon Bising has entered the Philippine Area of Responsibility, according to the Philippine Atmospheric, Geophysical and Astronomical Services Administration. The tropical storm entered Philippine territory around 11 a.m. today and has intensified into a typhoon. Data show the typhoon is currently 960 kilometers east of Surigao City, Surigao del Norte, moving at around 15 kilometers per hour. No severe weather has yet been reported by Pagasa, although heavy winds and rain may affect parts of eastern Visayas early next week. Pagasa has cautioned light ships and small crafts of rough seas over Visayas and Mindanao's eastern seaboard. Philippines Miss Universe representative Rabia Mateo met with fellow contestants in Los Angeles, California. Rabia, along with Miss El Salvador and Miss Colombia, arrived in California for filming. She also shared behind-the-scenes photos of her shoot in Hollywood. The Miss Universe contest will be held in Florida on May 16 and will be seen in the Philippines on May 17. And those were tonight's latest headlines. This is your anchor, Elisha Lusaria Bumida. Good evening. For more stories, check our website, www.panaynews.net. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to always wear your face masks and face shields, sanitize your hands, and observe proper physical distancing.